So Alibi, currently she has the highest pick rate on defense and also has one of the highest win rates as well. But of all the operators in the game, she is still yet to receive an elite skin. And as far as we know, she is not getting one anytime soon. And of course, when Ubisoft don't do something, that usually means that the community is probably going to do it for them. So what I want to showcase here is two really well-made Alibi elite skin concepts by two incredible siege artists in the community who have both reached out to me to show off their work and I think it is both insanely cool. And both of their socials will be linked in the description. Definitely go drop them a follow. Their work is incredible. So this first Alibi Elite skin is actually from Lil Ego over on Twitter. Definitely go drop them a follow and check out their art station. Their concept of a noir agent Alibi Elite skin is absolutely sick. And it puts Alibi in the style of a 1940s mafia agent. Now a little backstory as to why they chose this for the Elite skin. Alibi's biography actually claims that she infiltrated a crime family as an arms dealer and spent several years amongst them. And the next concept after this we're going to look at is heavily inspired by the concept art from that story in her biography. But this one by Igor actually takes takes a spin on it and says, okay, what if she done this in the 1940s, how would she look then? And that's where he got this concept of a 1940s mafia agent for Alibi. It takes a part of her lore but changes the story a bit and gives us a really cool skin. Even looking at these concepts, these are absolutely incredible, a very good 3D artist we have in our hands here. Siege has some of the most incredible and talented artists I think I've seen in any gaming community. Because if I didn't tell you otherwise, you'd probably look at this and think this is official work. An absolute incredible concept for an elite skin and I think the backstory behind it is very cool as well and I could see many people running this if this were real. And now we're going to check out the next concept and guys I'm not putting them against each other, I'm not comparing artists, I'm just showing off two really cool concepts. So just know this isn't to compare artists or anything, I'm purely just showing off both of their work on an alibi concept. And this one is actually by Sketchy Hedgy, I've actually shown off his work before, if you remember that Nook video I made where he actually fixed the headgear from the battle pass, that was Sketchy Hedgy as well. And this time we have his version of the alibi elite which is much more accurate to the biography and that is actually the dress she is wearing in her concept art when she was infiltrating this crime family. So the one by Igor was a twist on that and if it was set in a different decade and the one by Sketchy Hedgy is more time relevant and more accurate to the biography. This one of course puts Alibi in that dress from the concept art and does seem very accurate like I said to the concept art which Ubisoft actually published. Now if we're going to be realistic out of both of these skins they would probably go with the more noir looking one purely because Ubisoft seems to stop making elite skins which are actually accurate to lore which I kind of find sad because listen I'm all for goofy skins in this game and I think Goofy skins are hilarious and funny but I also still do like the grounded skins and I do like when elite skins are part of operators lore. Like Sophia's ones for example, that one is directly tied into her lore and we actually see her wear that elite skin in one of her cinematics. But then you've got one like the most recent Warden one where he's just wearing a summertime outfit. There isn't really much to go into his lore about that and whether that is a just a lack of character building by the lore team itself. But I just really like when these elite skins go down the route of being true to the lore and if you want to make other fun funky bundles you can do that as well. Some of my favourite elite skins in this game are the lore accurate ones. It doesn't have to be in the dress but make it relevant, make it like a heist uniform or an undercover one or make her like I said look like she's part of that crime family, just make it lore accurate because I think that'd be really cool. And of course a major part of elite skins are gadget skins. And now an elite gadget skin for Alibi would be quite interesting. I wonder if it would only change the base of the hologram itself and not the hologram because the hologram and Ayana's one work differently. Ayana's one is actually a separate player model hence why it can take her skins and the hologram changes with the skins. Whereas Alibi's holograms aren't her player model, rather they're just a low poly texture stuck on a hologram, hence why it doesn't change with Alibi's skins. But if they were to do this, would the hologram change with the elite skin, meaning that you'd have the default hologram and the elite skin one? Or would they update it to make every skin match that? I'm not sure, it definitely seems like tech limitations as to why Alibi's holograms are only her default skin. It's very interesting to see what they would do if she does get an elite skin. So guys, those are two really good Alibi elite skin concepts by two great members of the community definitely go check them out their links are in the description anyway guys if you did enjoy be sure to subscribe to the channel drop a like on this video if you did enjoy this like if you did not i'll scratch you all later have a great day peace